Hi guys, this is Mike from Product, and I wanted to talk about protecting data, because it's really about data that's sensitive to an organization. So there's different types of places data can be stored. In cloud applications, uh, there's also different types. So an enterprise file sync and share app, like Box, is different than something like Office 365, which is different than something like Salesforce. But they all can contain very sensitive information that you'd want to inspect uh, and protect. So a lot of times people think about things like files, uh, but structured data is also possible in, in CRM apps like, like Salesforce and whatnot. So one concern is data in the cloud. Other types of concerns are data on devices. So if I have a PC down here, uh, and let's say I have a Surface and a iPhone, uh, these connect up to the cloud applications and they can either create content locally uh, on those applications or they can take content from the cloud and, and you know, pull it down. So from a managed device perspective, if I gave them uh, the device and I have control over this, uh, then there's a different type of approach that you do from a data protection uh, solution. So typically, things involve two factors. One is a proxy to proxy data and control the upload and download of content. The other are APIs. And what those allow you to do is detect content inside of cloud applications and control them. So a good example of that is if I have this file in Office 365 in OneDrive, and I take it and I share it externally somewhere. That might be okay, but that might not be okay also. That could contain some uh, PCI information that you may want to want to block or PII that would be a violation of your, your corporate policy. So you want a solution that combines both this proxy component uh, as well as the API integration to give you something that we call a hybrid. Uh, CASB and Gartner calls something like a multi-mode CASB. And so those two solutions are, are, are different though. From an API perspective, the API is basically taking uh, things from Salesforce or Office 65, waiting for it to tell the solution about that, and then taking action on it. So if I share this file, it takes a little bit of time for that CASB to understand that the file shared, and then they go and take an action on this and actually perform the block, right? And so it's more of a reactive type solution, uh, but it's required for things that happen after the fact. So after I uploaded the content and it was fine, then I did a share, so I need an API to protect against that. From a proxy perspective, you protect things more inline. So I protect uh, this file going up to the cloud or going down from the cloud to the PC. Uh, a lot of times from a sensitivity perspective, you're looking at uh, things like sync clients. So Outlook, for example, which syncs the number one app, which is email. Uh, sync clients like, uh, like the Box sync client, uh, you'd only want installed on, on a managed PC that you own. And so from a solution perspective with a proxy, there's two approaches. One is that I have something like an agent that I install uh, on the PC. Uh, because it's managed, I can do that and whatnot. So I'm able to do so. Uh, there's also approaches where I configure the device. Uh, that, again, that's something that I would do on a managed PC. Or I'm on a network, and I uh, take and I install, let's say, uh, a firewall here to do some sort of uh, proxying and, uh, and controls there, like a secure web gateway. And so I, I could do that there, too. Uh, but that doesn't really apply for devices that are more BYO. So if I bring my own device, a lot of times users don't want software installed in those devices. And so this forward proxy approach with configuration and whatnot doesn't really apply over here. So what you want on that side is something that is an agentless solution uh, that can protect unmanaged PCs. And so when you look at a CASB, you really want three things. One is to protect your managed devices. Another one is to be able to protect your unmanaged devices without installing any software or any configuration. And then third, you also want to protect against data that's already in the cloud or that happens after the fact. So solution-wise, you should be looking for a, a multi-mode or, or hybrid CASB, and we'd love to tell you more. Thank you.